Hello guys, it's Kevin, State & Co Truck Insurance, and in today's video we'll talk about trucking insurance companies for box trucks, not including Progressive. Many of our clients and new prospects, for whatever the reason, do not want to be with Progressive. Maybe they had a bad claim experience, maybe premium was too high, but we get those calls pretty much on a daily basis telling, hey, I have a box truck, I hate Progressive, find me somebody else. And if you've been in business less than 12 months, the options are kind of limited and it can be, you know, state by state. We're in 18 different states and the insurance companies that I'll talk about um, pretty much covering most of these, those states. And in no particular order, number one is Berkshire Hathaway Home State Companies. It's A++ rated insurance company, affiliate of Geico Insurance and Berkshire Hathaway is the part of the whole Warren Buffett's uh, conglomerate, very strong insurance company, very good insurance company, but it has some specific requirements when it comes to box truck insurance. Uh, one of those being that, you know, if it's a box truck that's over 26,000 pounds, which require a class A CDL, the driver has to have at least six months of the CDL experience. If the box truck is under 26,000 pounds, then, you know, no CDL is required and you're pretty much good to go with Berkshire. They will accept any driver, violations, accidents, uh, it's just gonna cost you more. Price-wise, I've seen them in some cases beating progressive, in some cases they're being a little bit higher. And it, you know, as I tell in my previous videos, you know, it's state-specific, garaging zip code, location-specific, also depends on your driving record, the value of the truck, and Berkshire, same as Progressive, they do pull limited credit history where they, they have that financial responsibility scoring. So the main owner of the company, preferably you want somebody with good credit because that's also going to impact the, the rate on, on your insurance. Number two would be Everspan and Night Specialty. The reason I'm mentioning those two together is that they're both part of the Cover Oil MGA. Both insurance companies are A-rated and they're very competitive when it comes to box trucks. And if you've been in business less than 12 months, I've seen them many times beating Progressive. They do have some specific require requirements and especially when it comes to your MBRs. Over the past three years, you know, they do not accept any drivers if, if those had major violations. And major violations being like reckless driving, uh, DUI, uh, speeding over, I think like 15 miles per hour, driving and texting, those would be major violations and that's like a big no-no for Everspan and Night Specialty. But if you kind of fit with those um, you know, underwriting guidelines and you don't have any major violations, they are okay with two minor ones. Um, so that's acceptable and at fault accidents, no more than two. So if you fit in those guidelines, you will get a pretty competitive price. And like I said, in most cases, I've seen them being better than Progressive, being better than Berkshire. And one last kind of important nuance is that they require you to install dash cam. And it's a forward front facing and in inbound facing dash cam that some truckers are not very happy about it. It's the requirement of that insurance and if you do not install which by the way they'll send you that cam I mean there's no cost I mean the, the the price that you pay for the insurance already has that camera pricing built in so there is no extra cost and even you know with no extra cost sometimes we're getting pushback from the truckers because they're like well you know I don't want this privacy invasion and that cat dash cam only runs when the truck is is moving you know when you're parked and out of service you don't have to turn it on, but that's kind of one of the key requirements. And if it's not you know, followed, then they will cancel the insurance policy. But again, good insurance company for your box truck if you've been less than 12 months in business. The number three would be National General, um, A++ rated insurance company, part of Allstate. Uh, they're very competitive. And in some states, for example, like North Carolina, I've seen box truck pricing for one box truck about eight nine ten thousand dollars um and and they don't like you know major violations they don't like um, multiple minor violations so as long as you're 
driving record is clean over the past 36 months, you will get probably one of the best prices you've seen for a box truck. But then National General does not operate in every single state. So only a handful of states where they operate. And um, our home state is North Carolina. They're pretty big here. And lots of box truck operators are very happy with this insurance company. And number four would be Incline Insurance, A-rated. Uh, they're pretty big in North Carolina as well. Uh, one of the interesting nuances is that Incline does not care much about the driving history. So over the past 36 months, you can have violations, accidents. They will insure you and the price is not going to change much if you had like a speeding ticket versus three speeding tickets. They will still insure you. The price might be, you know, a little bit higher, but, you know, you'll get an insurance. And in some cases, I've seen them, you know, cheaper than progressive. So, yeah, just give us a call and we can walk you through all those options. Uh, if you like our content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye.